June 6, 2010. At this uh, moment, I uh, have an understanding that there are misconceptions and rumors being spread about me, which uh, I would like to state very right off that rumors, very rumors about anybody, especially to make them look terrible, is just not cool. But anyway, yeah. First off, I would like to state. I do not quote unquote piddle my cats. I, I, the only parts I touch on them are their back and their heads. Nothing more. Anyway, after that, let me tell you about uh, what happened uh, last Friday, the uh, 4th of June. Okay, so it was after Fridays after five. I went over to a bar, and I had a bud, a bottle of bud, and I put, and then I played some solitaire on my DS while I, while I waited to the uh, while I waited to the hour. But then about but about three quarters of an hour through, because I had a camera in my possession right then, I had the impulse of, hey, I'll go over there. I'll go over to the place and take a picture of Michael Snyder so that I can print it out later and use it as a dartboard. So that so that that's just basically what happened. So then I drove over to the parking lot of the place in front of Staples and then I made my way to the window to take a picture of him and nobody else. Right to the store window. Through the store window, just him. And that, uh, I was not alone there in front of the uh, window. There was another dude who was apparently on his side and recognized me. He wanted to start a fight, but in a fight, in a fight or flee, I decided to flee. So I went to my car, and then he ran in and got Michael. And then Michael jumped in front of my car. He jumped in front of my car. He, as a matter of fact, he jumped onto the top of my hood. He was looming over my windshield. It was horrifying, so I backed my car up. I backed my car up, and I and I backed it up to my to my right. And I see that there was like a couple of police cars in front of me. So that was like the wrong way to go. I should have backed up the other way. But anyway, so to go around them, I went to another aisle, and I drove through that. And then, so then I, then I decided to make a left turn, bad, bad, bad move right there, because he jumped in front of my car again, risking his own life. I could have been going top speed. He was lucky he didn't get hurt, as far as I know. But I did not run him over. Jumped in front of my car, so I back up. And then I tried going around. And then this, and then this woman, I don't know who, I do not know who the blank she is. She jumps in front of my car, so I stop again. And then I start backing up, and then I get stuck from behind, and then I'm trapped between the between police and Michael and whoever the hell this woman was. So then I sort out with the police. Uh, they delete they delete the pictures, and uh, and the woman and then the woman t the woman came to me right up front. And accuse me of things like you know, see, see naked pictures on me on the internet, and then accuse me of child pornography. I am not a pornographer of any sort, and any naked pictures of me on the internet were either tricked from me by the trolls, where they deceived me, or I was blackmailed. And there were a number of blackmailings, as they, as they have rat themselves out. On, the qui on their website such as the Quickie or even the Encyclopedia Dramatica webpage. Anyway, uh, through, and also uh, Michael just basically loomed into me and he said, he just basically shot in front of me, YOU'RE DEAD! YOU'RE DEAD! Right, if I had the right mind, I would send him, I would give him a charge of verbal, serve him a charge of verbal harassment. But I was already under trouble for quote unquote trespassing.
And then, so, with that, I told the police about... I reminded them, eventually, of the, of the trolls of the internet that had been going against me, so I warned them of websites such as the Quickie, and I named a troll or two. I'm not going to say who I named. But anyway, they let me go with a. But anyway, I was let go with a warning out of the parking lot. But point. But the point is, the only pictures I was taking were of Michael Snyder. Nobody else. No children. I want to make that very clear. And also, I do not want any more rumors spread at all. It's bad enough you have to have ruined, you had to have messed up my once good name and have it transferred to real life, which may, which uh, I basically got that impression firsthand for practically the first time. So, prove that theory. And it made me feel sad because I am not the villain. The trolls are the villains. Because they spread, because they troll me. They make up the crap. They exaggerate or twist around my truth. My spoken word. And they give me wrongful mislabelings. I'm straight. And they use damn Photoshop to make it look like otherwise. So at this point, with my spacing myself away from the internet, and I'm trying to put my name back in a clean state, I put, I, so I put this unto everybody and all people who look me up on the internet. Do not believe anything that is said at all about me. Because I pretty much did away with my website, the Wikipedia. So, do not believe anything that there is on the internet about me. If you want clarification, send me an email or talk to me in person. I encourage talking to me in person because then we can meet, because then it will be face to face. And there is no better way of reflecting my honesty to you, the general public, than face to face. I want to go back to a normal life. And one way I can do that, to help go back to do that, is to quell the bad reputation. So, again, I encourage everybody who looks me up on the internet, since there's nothing, since I have removed most everything about myself personally, don't believe anything on the internet about me at this point. Don't believe anything on the internet about me. Christian Weston Chandler of Rutgersville, Virginia, United States of America. I leave y'all with that. And I bid y'all a good day or evening, depending on the time zone.